Of a Gauteng Community Safety MEC, Faith Mazaboko, is encouraging communities to report crime. Uh, speaking at a Soweto summit in, Darb in Soweto earlier today, uh, reporter Heidi Jokos uh, was there and uh, joining us now. Hello to you, Heidi. So 33 summits are planned, I believe. So uh, the MEC not taking this very lightly. So what is the point of this summit? What are we trying to get out of this? So uh, the first question that I asked her was, is this just not another talk shop, mm. given the fact that um, community members, whether it is in Soweto, or anywhere else are tired of um, the, all the promises. They actually want a proper action plan. Um, and the MEC is basically saying that this is the start of an action plan. She needs to understand what some of the issues are within the community. She needs to engage with the community and identify specific problems and then move on um, to an action plan. She's identified certain people from the specific uh, community, Brown Fisherville in Soweto, um, to assist her in coming up with a proper concrete plan and action plan to deal with the issues that were raised today. Um, she's setting to, to go uh, to various provinces within Gauteng, 33 summits. We're not sure when the next one will be, uh, but we do understand that she is looking to uh, hopefully come up with proper action plans to assist communities with all these issues. Yeah, 33 summits in the province in just this year, so I'm sure it's going to be a very very busy schedule and we'll follow those up as we get there. Brom Fisherville, however, uh, being in the news for all the bad reasons, I'm sure it's something that you asked her about. Most definitely and I mean some of the issues that the community members raised because she got up and she spoke and she said she wants the community to engage with her and provide her with some information but when the community got up they basically said that um, some of the issues include drugs, some of the issues include xenophobia, undocumented people, um, you know, too many people in an area, too many people living in one yard. Um, and uh, the fact that they, the community believes as though um, some of the police are involved in some of the drugs. So um, these are some of the issues that were raised uh, by the community members. And um, she's basically pleading with the community to say, help us identify where the problem areas are, provide us with that information so that we can get, get to these problem areas and sort it out. Let's perhaps listen to what the MEC had to say. We also want to encourage you as communities to report crime and take charge in your areas. Abanini, they do report crime, but Nabasuga Lapo, they go and withdraw cases. It can't be right that as communities, we withdraw cases. It means we say criminals must continue as they like, terrorizing our communities. We are here to also engage all of us to make sure that we also share with you the programs that we have in the department with what it is that we do in, an, in ensuring that near as communities you are protected, also you are safe. But most of all, finding solutions. Gender-based violence. Many women but women are afraid to go and report because what are we going to eat if Matambe Sopo has been arrested? And as a result, you perpetuate e gender violence because you live in an environment where you are oppressed. But because you are depending economically on this man that is abusing you, we are shala utule utitu. So we hope Uguti, out of our inputs today, we can be able to say how do we help each other to make sure that women are no longer abused, children are not abused. Uh, and uh, Heidi, just before I say goodbye to you, this almost seems to be the problem. We're talking about crime, but the crime is stemming from very much uh, a social ill, a woman relying on men uh, who could very well be involved in crime. They report them, and suddenly their livelihood and their children are put in danger. Most definitely, and I think this was also something that we did pose um, to the MEC, and that will be later on in, in a package that I'll put together. But uh, the MEC is saying that she understands that there is a risk, and people are scared and fear for their lives when they come and uh, provide certain information because they are going to be victim victimized. And one would even see with engagements today that very few women were standing up to say this is the actual problem. And gender-based violence is a big problem because you have this woman that's heavily dependent, perhaps on a uh, a Red woman, a winner, which so happens to be the father of the children, or whatever the case may be, and uh, perhaps is involved in some kind of crime, and then she fears for her life. She doesn't speak up, and the problem just gets worse. Inst uh, instead, it's it's not just one problem; it's a million other problems uh, that stem from one problem being this crime. So um, she's encouraging the community to say, um, you know, it's not just house robberies that are 
are in, in this community, but it's a number of other issues. And she's pleading with the community to participate and help and uh, give that information and to also call out on those police officers that have been uh, named or, or pointed out to be involved in these kinds of crimes. You took the words out of my mouth. I was going to ask you about the police, so thank you for that. Heidi Jockers, looking forward to the report uh, on that story later this evening uh, here on ENC.